What's up guys, welcome back to today. We're going to be drawing Boruto adult, Boruto, with Sasuke's sword and cloak on. So it's him, I've drawn him sort of in that classic scene against Kawaki. This is same kind of thing, except he's standing up. I've seen someone request this um, a few times. So I thought I'd give it a go. So I'm moving images around as usual. Okay. So yeah, landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser for these. You can always put marker on top of pencil, but you can't really erase marker. So use pencil, sketch it out. Let's start with his eyes. Center point here, up over to the right. And we start with his classic sort of Naruto style anime eye. So we go up, across, and you gotta spike it down the back. It's so like a little sharp at the end, thick at the top. And you can thicken up the top by a little, little bit as well. Like so. Right, then bottom eyelid comes across here, like so. Pupil, iris and pupil. So you just do like a semicircle coming down from his top eyelid. And then his pupil is somewhere in the middle. As centered as you can get it. <clears throat> so his eyebrow and eyelid lines and stuff. So his eyebrow kind of just goes underneath his headband, right? So we go like here. So it just goes, ticks up this way. And then it kind of disappears up there. So you can stop it there. Might be another eyelid line here. Like that. So we can see sort of a line for his nose coming down from here. And then his other eyebrow would just be like here. And across. He's got like a scar here, so it kind of cuts off the eyebrow as well. Okay, so his other eye, just here underneath the eyebrow as well. So you just go up, over, and then we'll hook it back down here. So you want to thicken that up again. Add the bottom eyelid line, like so. And then his Jugan, is that what it's called? I'm not sure. But we'll go just like again, a half circle or a semicircle just coming down from here. And then there's a light circle inside. So what you could draw is like a bracket, maybe like half of it. You know, and like here. Right, so kind of like it's faded a little bit. <clears throat> so we have a scar going up this way. Kind of disappears up underneath his headband, right? So underneath the metal part here. And then a scar going down this way. And then, so it seems like he's activated that stuff, right? So we've got a line here, right? And it comes out from underneath the headband. So we'll draw the headband, right? So just starting across here, we'll go, because everything seems to come out from under the headband. And it's all ripped and torn here. So it just goes up, across, down, and then comes across then again more this way. Then we can see some sideburns just on the side of his head, either side of the headband. <clears throat> and yeah, before we draw that pattern, we've got to kind of draw the lines for his face and stuff. So 
just go down here and add his nose. So we have a nostril. So I say the nose comes down here. And we'll have sort of a nostril there. And one here as well. And he's got this sort of downturned kind of serious mouth. He's not happy. And then his bottom lip underneath. And then chin. So, so his jaws will go up towards the side burns. So we go this way. We're just going up towards the ear. Gradually sort of curving. Like so, and then on this side, slightly different. So it goes out. Goes up around and then we can see his ears <coughs> just in the gaps and then some ear lines letter J it's always the easiest way to start and then you can add more so like this, so you go like a J sort of shape. And then you just add some extras inside if you want. Right, so then that symbol around his eyes, so. There, goes around. It's like glowing blue. And then coming down from the scar. And then into the corner of his eye just here. Another spike of it here. And then of course he has his whiskers. Just looks like two of them really. Two here. <coughs> okay, so covering his headband, right? So the top of the headband will be like here, right? And then the hair comes out from it. His hair fringe spikes, the round ones. And then another one here. Another one down here. And another one coming out this way. You can just see the edge of the headband down here. The ear just kind of disappears in behind. Right, and then the metal part of the headband just comes down around here and underneath. So the hair sort of covers these parts. <clears throat> and then we have a couple of details. So studs holding it on, and then we have the scratch mark that comes across. And another one that goes up, right? So we've got like one here. And then another one coming across this way. And then we have the leaf symbol. So you just have like a spiral that goes around, jump over the scratch marks and then we got a bit of the beak just sticking out here so then the rest of his hair so little spikes here and then they go all the way around his head he kind of has curved spikes they're not straight like Naruto's and then he has a little thing sticking up here in the middle So let's go down now and we have, I guess we get the hand in first. So do the hand and then the sword coming out and then we'll join it up to his shoulders and stuff. 
So just around here, you do four knuckles. One, two, three, four. Okay, four little bumps. Each of these will be a finger. And at the little finger, you'll change for a knuckle. Go down this way. Go down off my page. It's at the back of his hand, right? Then this in finger curves around the sword. This is his index. His thumb will go in behind, right? We have his wrist. So let's go here. Okay, and then his wrist will go this way. And then the handle for the sword will come out from behind his finger, which would be right here. Right, so the hilt of his sword <coughs> so it's just this round sort of section here. You just add an edge line just to make it look a bit three dimensional. And then you add the edge of the sword. Right here. And then it starts to go off this way. So this is where your ruler might come in handy. So we go off like this. Okay, we'll just go off the page because it's really long. And then, so the sharp blade, so it's got like a couple of angles on it. So we'll put another line just going this way. Okay, roughly like that. So now we gotta join this arm to his body, right? So you gotta add some body to it. So arm goes underneath clothing, ripped sleeve, just here. Okay, just the zigzag line. You can do it any way you want. And then this goes that way. Work <coughs> for his sleeve there. And it looks like he's got like a red patch just there. And then <coughs> his cloak folds over his arm down that way. And you'll have a lot of these folding lines going up, right? But that's that's basically the arm, apart from his thumb here, which I forgot. Okay, so now that's the arm. Right, so then we'll join this arm up to this shoulder. Okay, so Color comes out here. The other side of it. And he's got like a patch that goes underneath. It's basically Sasuke's collar. There's two buttons. One, two, one, two. Right. And then we gotta add all these bumps.
only values that go in. Using a line that goes down the center where the crisscrosses there. Then his other shoulder is out here, down. Right, we have the handle of the sword going this way, but we'll just get his body done first. And this kind of keeps going down there. So we'll go that way. Four lines on his shoulder and stuff. That. Right, and then the handle of the sword. Just go from here, trying to line it up with this. So roughly there. I kind of get skinnier at the end, so we'll go up this way and around. And then back up. There, and we'll do it on the edge line. Just make a corner on it. It's got like this brass end, and then we've got like bandage wrapped around this. Like so. Can be bumpy. Because it's got bandage on it. Okay, so very last thing. <clears throat> He's got like more symbols and stuff on his hands, like so on his knuckles here. These blue lights and then coming down his hand, we've got like another one here. And these going down, sort of little winged sort of V's. Okay, well, I think that's the best I can do, that is how to draw adult or toe with Sasuke's sword. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.